good everybody it's your boy loco and today i'm back at the yard and we got god again <laughs> luckily i'm not looking for one but this is a 2000 chevy suburban 1500 this one has the uh 706 heads If I can see that. But that's not the main reason I came here. I checked my email this morning and this thing dropped. Got you a 3500 2010 Chevy Express. And you can tell, like I said, you can tell the pros versus the everyday DIY Joe every single time. God uh, damn it! Uh, uh, Hate this hacker crap! Uh, uh. I thought I was gonna be safe with this one, but they got me. 6.0. For all 80 E trans gone and you can see how they did that I was showing uh, MC the other day they just chopped the frame you can see back here they need to unbolt it they just cut the uh, transmission mount cut the frame and boom easy pickings they just cut, cut all the lines all you need is a sawzall and then just unbolt everything and it's good. Take the whole transmission and engine out in one swoop. Yeah, I was hoping it was still here. Um, disappointed, but I'm not really surprised, you know. I got a 6 already. ready. This is gonna be number two. But every time, this is what you gotta go against, especially when it's warm. They just cut the frame, drop it, and they out. I really want to catch someone while they're doing this so I can see what tools they use and what kind of blade they're using. I don't know if it's like a Diablo blade or if it's like a Milwaukee torch blade. If it's powered, if it's cordless. That's some clean cuts. Test and an inspection nationwide. Gone. <laughs> that sucks. But while we're out here, I mean, we're gonna make uh, lemonade out of lemons. I'm gonna see what else is out of here. Sometimes I'll just be moving around, not even thinking about the Suburban. I just realized I got a whole nother harness here too. I get your drive-by cable. Uh, 706 heads, I'd probably skip that engine. I got one. I think I just got the heads. But that harness is pristine, look like. Um, I don't think they broke the uh, injector clips, but that's not a big deal. But yeah, they left everything here. They just took the um, intake off. Still got the IAC and DPS on it. Everything's still on, all the sensors on it, all the injectors still there. So I don't know if someone just came over here today and did that. I don't know if they come back for this. But I learned my lesson from last time. Um, yeah, even the uh, PCM's still there. 
but I learned last time it's just easier to wait until they get the transmission out because then I mean the harness is pretty much undone they took all the top connectors off ready for, and then uh, pretty sure transmission is still there And unlike the other junkyard, we already took the other harness. Uh, it's kind of low, so I really got to crawl under there. The other yard, man, the truck was like on two of those wheels. It was way high up. So it'd be kind of tight quarters under there. Yeah, because sometimes I look at stuff and I just overlook it. <clears throat> then I go home and think about it or I'll be at the yard and be like damn I should have took it but I'm pretty sure that's a 411 PCM full harness alternator intakes there throttles there all the sensors so I don't really know what they took they even took the uh, fuel lines off neatly and everything so they definitely know what they were doing I'm guessing this is going to be a pull for them for like a replacement. So the last thing I'm going to check out is uh, Pontiac G6. Yet again, it's a fail. No roof. 04. How many? I don't know. So you found one 5.3, 6 over on. G6 was a dud. So, I mean, on to the next one. Anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and uh, comment, like, definitely subscribe, share if you want. Peace.